Yo, what it do people, it's your boy King Kane, aka The Fit Pharaoh, coming at you with an early morning video. The only reason why I'm calling it early morning video is because I woke up, like, like legit five minutes ago, but it's really 12 o'clock. I still kind of late this night. I mean, you do that after a leg day, so you sleep in. Anyway, today, you get an early video of us doing a workout because normally I don't go to the gym this early but before I go to the gym I'm gonna meet up with one of my best friends and from there I'm gonna meet up with Jack good friend of mine basically a brother and we're gonna go work out at Gold's get a nice good workout in you see I'm already gym ready sun's out guns out baby anyway so yeah checking in with you guys a little bit later Alright guys, one of the first things I forgot to mention was today was a chest workout, so that's what we'll be attacking today is just strictly or mainly chest. And this one specific area right here, what we're doing is 5 sets of 15. And what I'm starting us off with is double hand first, and then I'll go ahead over into my left side, and then I'll do my right side. So it'll be 15 of each, it's considered one set. And this isn't no light weight, but again, it's a good enough weight for me to get a nice burn and consistently complete the workout. And that's what you want. You don't always want to lift heavy. See, when I was in high school, I was lifting much heavier and I almost wanted to compete and be a bodybuilder. But seeing that I box and do other things, I wanted to be more mobile. So I decided to lift lighter weight that was moderately heavy and give a lot more uh, reps. Uh, I got my boy Jack with me. He's next. Doing the same exact thing. A little bit lighter weight. Obviously, he's a little bit smaller than me. But the thing is, he's been working out with me consistently for a month and a half now. And he's put on about 8 pounds. So far, he's doing good. And I'm not really strict on form. But in certain exercises, I want you to be safe. So, again, it's the same exact thing. You'll do 15 on each side, left and right. And 15 with both hands. And that will be considered one set. So he's starting to feel it, and that's what I like. If you're not feeling it, you're not doing good work. You're just playing with it. Better breathe. Yeah, come Again, on, you don't got to lift there. heavy to always get results. Hit it. Hit it. Finish this off. Finish it off. Yeah. And this was my last set, and I was barely finished with it. All right, we're going on to the next exercise, guys. And what we're doing here is my variation of a, I guess you could call it an upright row. And what you're doing is really isolating your upper pectoral and your deltoids. And this is where I'm kind of a stickler right here because I want you to have good form and not rock. He's rocking a little bit, but this, again, is not an easy workout. You're really trying to isolate your muscles to make it work for you. Alright, it's my turn. I'm doing the same thing. I'm trying my best not to rock. It doesn't matter what weight you use in this situation. You're going to rock a little bit. So you want to either put your back against the wall to help you isolate your muscles a little better so you can get more bang for your buck. Alright guys, you should know what this exercise is called. Them good old chest flies. And this one actually we did 5 sets of 25. So 25 hits is considered one set. And we did five sets of those. So we were really starting to feel it at this point. Look at me. I'm bobbing my head, man. It's burning. Like I said, certain things, you don't really want to focus on form too much. <laughs> All right, my boy Jack. Jack is next. Doing his thing. He getting that good pumping. Nice posture. He's, he's got a nice arch in his back. Nothing too crazy. He's got his foot forward for good stabilization, and he's really trying to push through it. That's what I like seeing. Good work, good work. Good man. 
Alright guys, and here we topped it off with a Smith machine. And this one we did 5 sets of 15 again. It's basically the same thing as the very first machine we had, but with more stabilization. So, a lot of people seem to think that Smith machine versus free weights is kind of a hindrance to a lot of people's growth. And to be honest, I kind of disagree on that situation. It all depends on how you use it. And there comes the term, you know, train smarter, not harder. So in some areas, I feel like the Smith machine is a great machine. It stabilizes your body a little bit better for posture reasons. And you can pretty much get the same results as a free weight. But a lot of people like to disagree on that situation. And I understand. Free weights, people feel like they're really getting more bang for their buck because they're going raw with it. They don't get no assistance. And really, a Smith machine doesn't really assist you so much. It just kind of corrects your posture for you. In my opinion. You still get a nice burn from it. You still get the same feel. It's all about how you train with it, though. Again, train smarter, not harder. All right, guys. So that was the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to write a comment down below, and I will get to it as soon as I possibly can or answer it in the next video. Uh, so with that video, it was a chest workout. Sorry about the audio. It was kind of funky. In certain areas, I don't, I don't know, but um, yeah. Again, it was a chest workout with my boy Jack. Jack did good. Um, a lot of people, like I said before in the video, feel kind of iffy about the Smith machine versus free weights or raw weight. So again, I'll probably make a video about that later on. And if you have anything to add to it, by all means, give me your opinion. So, with that being said, guys. It is your boy King Kane, a.k.a. The Fit Pharaoh, and I'm out.